target number one. Oh, look at that. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. Today's gonna be a different kind of video. We are on our way to Andy's mine site. We're gonna go there and say hello and hopefully find some gold in his tailings. I mean, his concentrates. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a bit of fun today. Metal fingers, this is Alpha Bravo Cheesecake. I am on my way, over and out. Copy that. And we're here. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is how stinking hot it is here and loud. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but it's really warm, so I came prepared. Stay. I came prepared. A new hat. So there's Andy working away. I won't bug him yet. I'll wait for him to notice me, but I just want to show you guys around quickly. This is the mine's jacuzzi. The five-star hotel and a whole heap of dirt that has a lot of gold in it. We will make sure we get some of that. Hurry up, Andy! Some told me the Sean Palm Ranky of the West. <laughs> Something about Sean Palm Ranky of the West. All right. So Andy shut everything off now. We're just gonna wait for it to uh, run down a little bit. To get Andy to hurry up and exit his excavator, I asserted my authority with an aggressive stance. I'm really tempted to go look in that sluice box before Andy does, but that's bad etiquette. So we're just gonna wait till he gets out of the excavator and then we're gonna have a look. So Andy, this is a big upgrade since the last time we filmed your mine, hey? Yeah, for sure. We're a lot bigger than we were before. Digging bigger holes and making bigger piles of dirt. So this is a home-built wash plant and trommel. It's a converted soil screen that Andy built into a gold guzzler. And obviously this is a big sluice box. This is where all the black sand and gold gets trapped. And hopefully there will be gold here today. But before we get into this, I just want to take you guys for a quick little tour around the mine because some of you haven't seen this and there's a lot to look at. So this is the jacuzzi where Andy and I bathe during the daytime, right? No, this is actually the cut. I think that's right. This is where all the pay dirt's coming from, where he scoops it up and puts it over there. All this stuff right here. This is all pay dirt. There's another jacuzzi over there. All this stuff gets dropped into the wash plant over me and then gets all converted down into gold that we can take home. So this excavator does what? One yard per day? This excavator has a 0.7 cubic yard bucket and I'm doing two thirds of a bucket, so roughly half cubic yard per scoop. Your average shovel is maybe two times this amount, like that's a shovel load. And when you pick it up with this excavator, it's so big, it, it looks like a tiny amount, but it's, it's literally dumping hundreds of gallons of material in just as you try to sprinkle it as gentle as you can. So just one scoop from the excavator is more than what most people would find in a whole day hand panning. So imagine that for six to 10 hours a day, you're gonna find a lot of candy. So another interesting fact about this area, some of you might recognize this hole. Once upon a time, I made a video high banking here with my old friend Brian, and we discovered a really deep hole that could be a cave or potentially a mine shaft. So this could be actually dangerous. Look how deep it is. I literally just fell into that hole. My leg went all the way up to here. Now, we never continued on in the spot to discover what exactly it was because Andy here is a claim owner and we both just are really busy and I just haven't been here. But now that Andy's mining here, in the near future, Andy and I are gonna use that big old excavator and we're gonna dig into this once that water drains and finally figure out what lies below. So stay tuned for that because that's gonna be a lot of fun. There's another jacuzzi over there. This claim has it all and I really like Andy's claim because Andy's here and I love him. So this operation is just a test to see what one man can put together on his own. I'm working myself to the bone to do it and working other jobs to pay for it. But we're finally at a point where we're getting to see the gold that's coming out of here and to see if I can actually make a living. And if I can do it, that means anybody can do it. And that's the big question is like, can people still go today and get claims in their own town maybe even and make a living gold mining? So I'm excited to see what's in this loose box. So for sure there will be gold up in here, but before we do that, I, I'm gonna hold my patience, if that's even a word, and I wanna test pan the stuff that fell over here. I wanna quickly test pan the, the concentrates over there, and then I wanna do some metal detecting up there and hopefully find a piece of gold before we look at and see what Andy found. So I don't have any tools with me, so I'm just gonna hand... Oh, yeah, sure. Ugh. Way easier. 
It's really, really bright here, so I apologize if the quality isn't to your standards. I'm just gonna pan down here on what looks to be bedrock. I think that is bedrock. This is bedrock, right? Yeah, what you're actually sitting on is bedrock. There's some micro poops in there, but uh. Monster yeah. micro. Monster micro. Yeah. All right, on to the next test. For the record, just because there was no gold in here doesn't mean it's gonna be like that everywhere. I just suck at gold panning. Yeah, so I was letting Paul know if he wanted to stay the night and camp with me, it'd be totally fine. I left a spot here for him. And I'm hoping <laughs> he decides to stay. Yeah, it's a lot of space. Okay, next test is where he's using his excavator. This is literally gonna be the same exact stuff as we just panned out, except this just gives me another chance to find some gold. Okay. We did find some fly poop in there, but I dropped the pan because I was drinking the water for a joke and I, yeah, didn't, I did, yeah. So Dan Hurd was just in here, mail detecting apparently. I didn't see his video, sorry Dan. And uh, I kinda wanna get my detector out and see if he missed anything. Ground balance it. All right. So the chances of me finding anything here are pretty slim, as I know Dan is well versed in metal detecting and I'm also not the most patient. Target number one. I spent four days trying to find this target until finally I still didn't find it. Okay, so I've narrowed the target to right in here. That's my sunglasses. So it's quite loud. With any luck it will be gold, but uh, chances are it's probably gonna be a piece of his excavator bucket or maybe a nail. Maybe even some lead. I don't know. Hmm. Should have brought that shovel because my finger isn't the best digging tool. Okay, after 10 years, I, I've got the target in the pan. So because I took so long, that's the only target I have time for. <laughs> Let's see if it's gold. That took way too long. I don't think it's gonna be gold, but we'll see. Okay. Come on, let's see if Dan missed anything. I have low hopes. <laughs> Please be a nail. I failed. I failed miserably. I failed you, Andy. I didn't find gold, I didn't find lead, I didn't find excavator bucket, and I didn't find a nail, not even a rock. I don't know what to say. This is supposed to be a commercial rock hounding site, and, and all we're finding is dirt. So this is the actual jacuzzi of the mine site. What a really good feature this is. You got your coals that you burn down there, and then you just sit in there at nighttime and enjoy the beautiful outdoors. So nice sitting with Paul here, our feet up by the fire. Yeah. We can have a bath if we want. Let's have a bath together. Yeah. So now's the time to clean up the old sluice box. So I'm not gonna show you guys the entire cleanup because that's up to Andy and his video that he's already doing. But what we will do is show you the gold that we're gonna find up in the top mat here and then possibly the nugget trap. Yeah, let's pan out the nugget trap. All right, so first look. I don't see anything. Yeah, there's maybe one little piece of gold right in there. Oh, yeah, a little crumb oh, yeah. Right there. Yeah, there we go. A nice pickup. That's pretty cool. So that's uh, that means we're gonna call it a day, hey? That's yeah. all. That's all we need to uh, keep a mine running. So the gold is so heavy that usually we find it all, most of it, right on the very first spot that it gets caught. Yeah. 
not seeing anything huge in the top mat. Not a big deal. I mean, the goal is to really get all the big nuggets in the nugget trap. But, uh, if it's working. If it's working. Oh, look it. Yay. Another one? Another one. Here we go. Ah, uh, another picker. Good sign that there could be gold nearby, yeah, so. That means there could be gold. Yeah, I like the little thick bits. So sometimes when you look at the sluice box, you will see pictures of gold up on the top mat, and then other days you won't see it. But it doesn't mean that the gold is not there, it just means that they are sleeping and they're waiting for us to leave for them to show themselves. So the nugget trap is in here. <laughs> I want to sleep in here, this is perfect. This fits me just excellently. So the nugget trap is right here. As you can see, it's pretty full. And these rocks are stuck in there pretty good. So we're gonna dig those out, have a pan, and hopefully find one piece of gold nuggets. Gold. <laughs> All right, show us how you get the nuggets out. So we just got this cap on here. This is just has water jets shooting into it, keeping it all. So that actually gets to be like a concentrate in there. It's just like another sluice box trap, but it's a big catch not designed for fine gold. Smell of summer. There we go, guys. That's what we're looking for. Yeehaw! Gray rocks, skippable rocks. This is going straight on the website. I'm ready, George. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, you got the water. I'm so scared. This reminds me of priming. <laughs> but as you wondering, the, all the noise is that generator that gives us the Wi-Fi to that thing. Thanks to Elon Musk. If I could thank one person personally, it would be Elon Musk for connecting us with the rest of the world while being out here. We've never had that luxury. Because I found so much gold already today panning, I earned the privilege to pan out the concentrates or whatever was in the nugget trap. So hopefully. <laughs> Alright. What was the most gold you found, uh, Andy, in the nugget trap? I think it was just about three and a half grams. Well, was that in, like nuggets or just like Grass. It was all fine, yeah. Fine grass, wheat grass. Yeah, good. So I am starting to see a little bit of gold show up at the top. So again, that's a good sign that there could be gold nearby. So it's important just to uh, not give up. What did you do if there was a house in here? <laughs> all right. What did we find in 70 hours of Slusa? <laughs> Beautiful, look at that. It's not too big for the top. In the nugget trap. Surprised that only yeah. that, you know, that small amount though gets caught in there out of, from hundreds of yards. Yeah, and because I kind of washed my face and the water that was coming out, I wonder how much gold I'm wearing. <laughs> so there you have it. What was in that nugget trap? No nuggets, unfortunately, but there is always next time. Okay, so that is it for visiting Andy's mine. I did get here a bit late, so it was, again, a shorter kind of a video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is kind of just like a sneak peek of what we're gonna do in the future. Like I said, we're gonna go dig into that pit over there and finally figure out what lies below that mysterious area. And of course, we're gonna do a full day here from start to finish to see how much gold we can find in one day. Big shout out to Andy Thrax Mining for allowing us to be here today. If you wanna see more of what Andy does and the gold he finds, subscribe to his channel. If you wanna see more of me not find gold, subscribe to mine.